The darning embroidery foot is not only used for repairing holes or torn areas, but it can also be used to do free motion embroidery, stipple quilting, even create monograms. It takes a little bit of practice, but soon you'll see that this is one of the most versatile sewing accessories in your sewing room. The darning foot has a small circular opening through which the needle passes while sewing. The arm rests on the needle clamp which moves up and down as you sew. To Go over the torn area while guiding the fabric back and forth in even movements. Once the area has been covered with stitches, leave the needle down, lift the presser foot and turn the fabric 90 degrees. Lower the presser foot and repeat the process. To do free motion embroidery, sometimes called thread painting, you can use either a zigzag or a straight stitch. It is not necessary to set the stitch length as this is determined by sewing speed along with the fabric movement. Use a removable fabric marking tool to draw the design on the fabric surface. Apply stabilizer to the back of the fabric following the manufacturer's recommendations. Draw up the bobbin thread then hold the bobbin and needle thread firmly as you begin to sew. Stop to trim the thread tails. Sew at a fast speed while guiding the fabric at a moderate pace as you fill in the design area on the fabric's surface. For monogramming, set the machine for a zigzag stitch. Place the fabric in a hoop, which will make it easier for handling the fabric as you sew. Apply stabilizer to the back of the fabric following the manufacturer's recommendations. Use a removable fabric marking tool to draw the monogram on the fabric surface. Sew at a fast speed while guiding the fabric slowly as you sew the monogram. The stitch width will depend on the look you want and the size of your monogram. Stitch length is determined by the sewing speed along with the fabric movement. Though this technique takes a little practice, 
you'll soon find it's a creative way to personalize many of your projects. To do stipple quilting, set the machine for straight stitch. It is not necessary to set stitch length as this is determined by sewing speed along with the fabric movement. Place the backing fabric, batting, and top fabric together. Pin baste to secure them for sewing. Hold the fabric with both hands, then sew in a meandering fashion, joining the fabric layers together as you sew.